after Donovan Thomas was killed, did Deshaun's mom's house get shot up? You said did her mommy house get shot up? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Okay. And do you call telling Detective Thorpe about the fact that her mother's house got shot up after Donovan Thomas was killed? Mm, I, I don't remember if I said it to him, but I, I know her mama's house did get shot up. So I don't know what I told him. So if you told him that her house did get shot up, that would have been the truth and not a lie, correct? I, look, look y'all had 50 police uh, investigators questioning me different times. I don't remember, because I know y'all trying to trick me to get me back in jail. I don't know if it was Detective Thorpe, Gaten, Dennis, or uh, whoever the other, other police is here. What I don't lie and told them. But every time that they came and told me, I sat in front of them and gave them whatever I wanted to tell them. And if it was the truth, it would not take no 10 years later for them to, to try to go do anything about it or to go back and use it. I'm telling you today, I told you before y'all put me in this courtroom that I lied. I don't want to be here. I'm not scared of nobody. I'm not in here trying to work in nobody's favor. Y'all is not fit to put it on my conscience that I don't sat up here and lied on these boys for stuff that I don't did. Not, not what I did, but for stuff that I'm not fit to sit up here and lie on them. And no, I don't care. Stop asking me questions. I'm not fit to lie on them. Okay. So All right, Mr. Copeland, listen to the question that Ms. Hilton just asked you and see if you can answer that question. Just pay attention to what she's actually asking you and answer that. Yes, ma'am. So my question was... On January 11, 2015, you told Detective Thorpe about Deshaun's mother's house being shot up, correct? Um, I told it to a police. I don't know which one to be specific. And that was not a lie, correct? Her house was being shot up. Okay, so that wasn't a lie when you told Detective Thorpe that, correct? I don't know if it was him I told it to. Okay. I don't think we got a clear answer yet, over will we? So that wasn't a lie, though, correct? If you told any police, whether you remember being Detective Thorpe well, or Gaither, was that a lie? Did her house was shut up? Yes. So was that a lie? What you mean? You just said So everything. when you when you finesse the police, this is how you finesse the police. You take a little bit of the truth and you take the bullshit and you put it together. Okay. So that's how I outsmarted Detective Thorpe and Gaither and everybody else. Take this right here. Because I know they didn't know this and put it with this over here. And during all of your interviews, did they tell you we're going to have to we're going to have to corroborate what you said? And if you take all of my interviews and put them together, they see what you come up with. Okay. But did they tell you that? Did they tell you they were going to corroborate everything that you said? Overruled. Did the detectives tell you that they would have to corroborate? Everything I, that I, you said. I can't tell you. Y'all have so many police talking to me. I don't know. I don't. I can't say what they don't told me. Did Gaither tell you on multiple occasions? I'm going to have to verify what you're telling me. I just can't take your word for truth. I have to verify what you're telling me. I don't know nothing about all that. I don't recall. You don't recall that. Let me ask you this. Do you recall talking to Detective Gaither? Why you were locked after you got locked up in June of 2015, calling her on her cell phone while you were in jail? I don't know. Okay. I don't recall. All right. And do you recall asking her what's going to happen to me? Am I going to be able to get out? And she kept telling you, "We got to verify what you told us." And did I get out? I'm asking you a question. Did okay. she tell you? Listen, we I, have to be answer my question. I'm about to. You want that? If I call Detective uh, uh, Gaither and she said she had to verify anything I said in 2015, in 2015, y'all locked me up every month. Y'all locked me up. February, I got out March. Y'all locked me back up March, I got out April. Y'all locked me back up June, I didn't get out to 2019. So if she verified anything I said, there were four years that I, and some change. I, I did 51 months in the federal prison. I, I, nothing been verified that I said. Uh, whatever the case is, I haven't heard anything from Detective Gateman, but it's nothing to spend the police. So my question to you was, did Detective Gateman tell you that she had to verify what you said? I don't recall. All right. 
Now, going back to the January 11, 2015 interview, do you recall Detective Thorpe asking you about whether or not you ever rented or owned, owned an Infinity vehicle? I don't recall. And earlier you said that your brother never gave you a car or let you borrow his car. Did you remember saying that? I bought my own car. Okay. Do you recall telling Detective Thorpe that your brother let you borrow his white Dodge Charger? I tell Detective Thorpe anything. Okay. And matter of fact, is that the same white Dodge Charger? <clears throat> that members of if getting shot at while you were on the highway back in late january of 2015. well i, I don't know i don't recall okay and matter of fact you told your brother to tell to make the police report because it was his vehicle that you were driving when members of if gang tried to shoot at you on the highway i don't recall And during the course of this January 11th interview, did you, is it true that you talked to Detective Thorpe multiple times about all the incidents that occurred in the weeks leading up to Donovan Thomas getting killed? I bet I have a different story every time. Okay. Specifically, you told him a couple times about the incident at the Cascade Skating Ring. Isn't that true? I don't recall. Okay. And Specifically, cool. what I said, I know if you take any time I talk to the Detective Thorpe, I bet you ain't none of my stories going to be the same. Okay. Well, isn't it true that in January of 2015, when you first talked to the police about what happened with Donovan Thomas, you were actually trying to protect your friends and you didn't want to give them all the information back in January of 2015? I'm just trying to protect myself. Okay. But then by I January got a family to protect. But by June of 2015, you finally disclosed everything that you knew about what happened the night of Donovan Thomas's murder and everything that happened leading up to Donovan Thomas's murder. No, see, what y'all did was y'all kept locking me up and putting me in isolation, putting me in protective custody at the Fulton County Jail where people putting feces all on the wall, locking me in the room, keeping me in there 23 hours a day, fucking up my mental, and keep dragging me back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, trying to make, man, listen, man, I'm. So I ask you my question again. Isn't it true that in January of 2015, you were trying to protect your friends, so you didn't give the police a lot of details about what happened the night of Donovan Thompson's murder? I can't, if, Can you ask that again? Sure. Isn't it true that in January 2015, when you first spoke to Detective Thorpe, you did not give him a lot of details about what happened the night of Donovan Thompson's murder because you were trying to protect your friends? No, I just had no time to protect myself by getting my story together. Like, I'm only thinking about protecting myself. Why would I try to protect some people and then wait down the line and give them up? They don't make sense to me. Because isn't it true that in June of 2015, you thought that Thug was trying to kill you? That's, that's, if I thought Thug was trying to kill me, I was trying to get him. Okay. In June of 2015, did you think Thug was trying to kill you? Um, that's what I told the investigators. Isn't that true? I don't recall. I don't recall. Okay. And also in June of 2015, were you involved in a number of retaliatory shootings because of Donovan Thomas being killed? Huh? By the time we get to June of 2015, were you the victim of a number of retaliatory shootings because people thought you killed Donovan Thomas Jr.? 
calls for speculation. Well, as to the compound question, you can try to ask it more simply. Um, he's at, she's asked, I'm going to overrule with regard to speculation because she's asking about his own mind. So in June of 2015, were you the victim of a number of retaliatory shootings? Well, y'all locked me up in well, February. But, I got out in March. Y'all locked me back up again in March. I got out April. And then the feds came kicking in my door June. So I basically was in jail most of the time. So I don't remember, I don't recall being a victim of a lot of shootings. Okay. By the time June 2015, we already talked about your girlfriend's mother's house was shot up, correct? Mm hmm You were shot at while driving on the highway, correct? I don't recall. Okay. You, your child, and your child's mother were shot at while you were leaving the home. Mm -hmm. The home, correct? You also had... I was shooting back. We're going to get to the fact that okay. you shot back. Yeah. You also had another shooting at another family member's house. Is that correct? Was it? I'm asking you. I don't, I don't recall. Okay. So by the time you speak to the police in June of 2015, you or your family were the victim of a number of different retaliatory shootings. I guess. I don't. And that was all as a result of people thinking that you killed Nut, correct? All right. Now, Miss Hilton, that is speculation. Okay. Was it your belief that it was because people thought you killed Nut? They didn't think. When you said they didn't think, what do you mean? I don't recall. 